Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Algebra, geometry, calculus, math can be challenging for any of us. But what if you couldn't see the graphs and equations you're supposed to work with? A Vanderbilt engineering student is adapting a popular new technology, and it's making a big difference. Well, it's a line. Very good. For high school students Kira and Quinn, the basic frustrations of math are magnified because they're visually impaired. I'm always complaining about algebra, um, how it's very visual, and how I always come home with headaches sometimes. These students rely heavily on their sight teacher who attends math class with them. She quickly mocks up detailed images of graphs while the math teacher continues. For more information, we'll use um, pipe cleaners, push pins. It's slower and it's not as accurate. So we're going to look at things like lines, shapes, points and grids. Vanderbilt engineering grad student Jenna Gorlowicz has a practical solution, an app for Android touchpads to help students use their strongest senses to master math. These are basically um, tablets or touch screens that make vibrations so you can feel it at your fingertips and then you can hear it because it has audio feedback, right? The app not only makes unique sounds and vibrations to help students feel shapes and diagrams. But it also has a sketching program where you can draw your own thing, save it, and then it'll automatically show up and you can feel it and or hear it. You can actually follow the line instead of having to ask somebody, okay, how does that look? We'll call it parabola. One goal, when the math teacher creates a diagram on his or her computer, the app would adapt it so visually impaired students can work in real time. It makes their, the work more accessible to them um, at the same time that their peers are getting the work. It could really be a good graphing calculator if you pair it up with the right software. You could make graphs and do that like everybody else in class when they use the graphing calculators. The rapid advancement of touchpad technology with haptic or vibrating features and the drop in cost will make this even more accessible. Gorlowicz started this project just 18 months ago. And so this was the only thing that was available. And since then, now, you know, this guy's come out. There's a 10-inch version of this. There's other tablets that are starting to get haptic feedback in them. And there are many applications for the software beyond math. Kira and Quinn suggest using the technology for everything from a periodic table of elements to video games. It just opens up another world for, the, for kids who use tactile information. Gorlowicz is passionate about this project. She says it will enable visually impaired students to thrive in crucial fields of math and science. You know, there's lots of students that have um, lots of resources for math. And these guys have just as much potential as all of them, if not more. This app is still in the design phase, but we'll certainly let you know when it's available. Gorlowicz is working through Vanderbilt's Medical and Electromechanical Design Lab, better known as the Med Lab. Her research is supported by a fellowship from the National Science Foundation. Thanks to everyone who danced the night away at the 10th annual Dance Marathon. Participants raised almost $114,000 for kids at the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. That's why our motto is the FTK and for the kids, it's because everything that we do is, is for them. Why would these folks keep dancing for more than 13 hours? Read some of the amazing Miracle Family stories and see the kids being helped on Vanderbilt.edu. Search Dance Marathon Families. When it comes to watching sports online or on TV, the key is capturing the action. But as we at UCAST know, a huge amount of work goes into a good show. Now Vanderbilt students are jumping into the deep end of broadcast journalism with ESPN. Carrying a $125,000 camera lens up some stairs, not dropping it, but uh... <laughs> you just can ask any questions you want and just see what's going on and you never get that um, anywhere else. It's prof professional production, but you're not yet responsible for things. It's amazing to see sort of just, just all the details that you have to keep your eye on to, to pull off a broadcast like this. As part of ESPN's Campus Connection, Vanderbilt senior Francesca Amaker shares how the Vandy women's basketball team wears their motto everywhere they go. 
Now, if you take a look at the back of a Vanderbilt Commodore's women's practice jersey, you'll see one motto. It says, no less. Well, daily, these young ladies are bringing this to the court. Anytime you're on the court, anytime you're working out, give no less than your best. And uh, we've taken that into account for every practice, every game, off the court. Um, we just feel that no matter what your best is each day, to give it your all and we'll be successful. No less means like the gas tanks are empty, you left everything out on the court and you know that you gave your total 100% effort. When our basketball operations person asked us what we want on the back of our jerseys, we're like that's what we want because every day we want to remember that we want to give no less than our best. This theme plays into the special bond and sisterhood that these girls have developed. For ESPN U Campus Connection, my name is Francesca Emerson. See more of these great ESPN student videos on YouTube. Search ESPNU and Vanderbilt. Follow all the Doors basketball action and buy tickets on VUCommodores.com. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.